Hello guys, welcome back. In this video we will see how we can enable NFS or how we can configure NFS protocol in a vServer. So once we configure the NFS, the vServer will be eligible to create NFS exports and that NFS exports can be used by Unix machines. So there are basically four steps needs to be performed here. First step is to verify whether license is there or not for NFS. Second step is to see whether the vServer has NFS protocol in its allowed protocol. Third step is to create a NFS uh, server and the fourth step is to configure the authentication provider for Unix user. So first uh, things we need to verify whether we do have license for NFS or not. So for that execute the command license show. Here we can see we don't have any license apart from base cluster license. So first of all we have to add the license for NFS. So here I have the key for NFS license. So just I will have copy it and then execute the command license add license code and then the license key hit enter. We can see license for package NFS has been added successfully. Now if we will execute the command license show, now we can see NFS license has been added into this cluster. The second step is to see whether NFS protocol is in the allowed protocol list of the vServer. So in order to see that we have to execute the command vServer show hyphen show hyphen protocols. So here we can see that NFS is already present. So we don't have to perform anything. If you do not find the NFS uh, protocol here, you just have to add the NFS protocol by executing command vServer add protocol with the protocol name that is NFS and then hit enter. Third step is to create NFS uh, server. Let's first see whether the NFS service is enabled or not. In order to see that execute the command vServer NFS show. Here we can see there is uh, no configuration setup for NFS. We will execute the command vServer NFS create and then the vServer name. In this case it's a vs1 and then hit enter. Again execute the command vServer NFS show. Here we can see that uh, the general access for NFS is configured v3 is enabled and the version 4.0 and 4.1 is disabled by default. If you want to see a little bit more information about NFS configuration, just execute the command vServer NFS show hyphen vServer and then the vServer name. So more option you will be able to see and if you want you can also modify any of this parameter. So the fourth step is to configure the authentication provider for a NFS user. So basically by default NetApp will consider local file user database for NFS user authentications but you can also configure it for NIS as well. For that first of all we have to enable the NIS services and that we can do by vServer services NIS domain create the vServer name that is vs1 then the domain nis.com if active it will be true and then servers the servers means the NIS server. So we have to provide the IP here. In my case, it's 192.168.15.250. Hit enter. Now execute the command vServer services NIS domain show. Here we can see the details about the NIS domain configurations. So this includes the NFS configurations in uh, vServer. If you have any questions or any additional knowledge to share, please comment. Do subscribe and again thank you for watching.